Hollywood Brown is a bomb ass receiver. He is a bottom 10 receiver. And I don't care what anybody says. This motherfucker cannot catch for shit. This motherfucker could not catch to save his life. He has two jobs. Catch the ball and run with the ball. Getting paid millions of dollars a year to do two things. Catch it and run. Motherfucker came into the first half. This guy cannot catch for shit. And I'm glad that he's gone. Because he's a grade A bum ass receiver. He is worse than fucking Nelson Algalore. And that motherfucker's bad. He can't catch for shit. Hollywood is literally fucking Nelson Algalore. Hollywood is five fucking nine. He is five foot nine. He's an inch taller than me. He can't catch. He's fast, but that's his only good quality. He's fast. He can't jump high. Motherfucker. I fucking hate Hollywood Brown. This guy is the one of the worst receivers in the league right now. And I don't care what anybody says, oh, but he had a thousand yard season. So fucking what? So what? I'm glad that he's out of Baltimore because he can't do shit. Lamar's running. He, that motherfucker's running. He's running for his life because this, don't get me started on the online. That's going to be a separate video. This fucking online dog shit. Anyway, he's running. He's running. He's running trying to get away from the big fucks that's chasing him. Motherfucker throws it to Hollywood. Down the field, 20 yard line. Two motherfuckers about five yards behind him. Hits him in the fucking hands and drops the ball. Right? That's just Detroit. Mother, Lamar running again. Getting away from the defensive line from Detroit. Because our own line is so fucking bad. We can't even block a fucking toddler. Anyway, Lamar's running for his life as per usual, as he does every game. Running, he runs, sees Hollywood, throws the ball. Hollywood doesn't catch the damn thing. That shit happened three times in one game. Oh, but he had a bad game. No, it wasn't just a bad game. This guy does it every single fucking game. He does it every single game. Lamar sees him, throws the ball. It's a 50-50 with him, right? It's a it's just a 50-50 with the Ravens. You throw the ball, you throw the ball, you throw the ball down the field. It's either gonna get picked off, drops it, or the guy catches it, but he gets flagged for either holding, pass interference, or face mask. It's always one of those three. Always happens with the Ravens. I don't know why. Anyway, this guy, right? Cincinnati, oh my god, he caught a 40-yard touchdown from Lamar in the beginning of the second half of the game. Oh my god, he caught a 46-yard bomb from Lamar against Denver, and he almost dropped that shit. But again, I'll give him some credit, he had to die for that shit. But still, Detroit drops three, there's an entire three-minute video of this guy dropping balls. Three minutes of this guy running around. Playing football, the dream job, and dropping the ball. This motherfucker. I am glad he is out of Baltimore, because now Rashad Bateman gets a chance to be a true number one receiver. Because in 2020, I wanted him, and we got him. Like this year, I wanted Kyle Hamilton. Did we get Kyle Hamilton? Yes, we did. I am glad. We shouldn't even draft it. We should not have... Hollywood was not even a fucking top 32 player. He is not a first overall pick. He should have been at least mid-second round. Mid-second round. He had one good season, and that was last season. Yet again, our entire fucking team was on the, the bench in the hospital. Right? Oh my god, Steve Sarn is this... Oh. I, I got a shit ton of videos of, the, of this fucking team. Anyway... One good season. Over a thousand yards. One good season. That's it. Of his fucking, what, three, four year stint with the Ravens? Three year stint with the Ravens? Actually, no, technically two. Still, I'm glad he's out of Baltimore. He's a grade A bum ass receiver. Bottom 10, just as bad as Nelson Algalore. He is so...
I hate this guy so much. I really fucking hate this guy. This guy is such dog shit. I'm, again, I'm glad he's out of Baltimore. We have Mark Andrews, right? Or good with Mark Andrews, alright? Fuck with Mark Andrews. Everybody fucks with him. He's, he's good. He's a good tight end. He's a top three tight end. And we got Rashad Bateman and Devin Duvernay. We're good. We're good. We got Nick Boyle coming back from his knee injury. We're good. We don't need Hollywood. He's dog shit. And I'm glad he's gone. It's about time we get somebody to catch. He, we have not had a true number one receiver since Steve Smith. That's it. Since Steve Smith, that was back in 2015, we haven't had a good receiver since. Honestly. That's it. Bye.